So, hi guys, I'm coming to a new video. So today, um, I've got two phones over here. So on the right hand side, I've got the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra, which is still in its package. So we are basically going to do the unboxing of this phone. And on the left side, I've got my Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus, which is my main phone, which I'm using since two and a half years now. And um, I felt like now it's the time to switch my phone. So I bought the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. This year is the um, Phantom White model. And I thought like it's a great idea to switch now. So since this phone here is quite old, the battery life and all that got worse. And I've got a lot of scratches on the screen. And I've also got a black dot over here on the edge of the screen which annoyed me a lot and um, so I thought like getting a new phone it's it's basically the best time to get a new phone right now so first of all I'm sorry if uh, you you hear some noises in the background so my neighbors they have got some construction work going on um, so sorry for that all right guys so here I've got my knife and we are basically going to unseal this package now so this was the right side and they've got the seal on the other side as well. All right, so the package is unsealed now and we can just open up the box. And here we go. So this is the phone in front of us. So there's this slim thing here to peel off the phone or to take off the phone out of the package. Here you can see the white uh, color and um yeah just to compare this here is my fucked up galaxy note 10 plus which used to have the black color and then i've changed the back cover with a blue one and now i try to or after that i try to make the back look transparent just like jerry everything but i fucked my back yeah um in terms of size, they are almost identical. As you can see, the Note 10 Plus is a bit shorter and yeah, the width is almost the same. But you can also see that the Note 10 Plus is way thinner compared to the uh, S22 Ultra. So there's definitely a change in size. Um, the Note 10 Plus is definitely smaller and it weighs I mean, the weight is really less on this phone. This phone here, this phone is really heavy. So this is something which you need to keep in mind. If you come from a Note 20 Ultra, you won't notice the difference between the Note 20 Ultra and this phone here. But if you are coming from a Note 10 Plus, you will definitely notice the difference since the Note 10 Plus is the last Note, which, um, which was like really thin and not that big. I mean, these phones here, they are a little thicker. They are a little bit... Uh, longer and all that and they are heavy so this is the only difference i mean um i mean in terms of design they look pretty identical but the phone here on the right side is thicker it's bigger and it's heavier so this is something which you need to keep in mind if you are coming from a note 20 ultra you won't notice the difference since note 20 ultra is also really heavy and thick and uh, longer than the note 10 plus but if you are coming from the note 10 plus you will definitely notice the difference um yeah you can also see that my note 10 plus here on the side uh, on the table it doesn't wiggle over here so it basically lays on the table since the camera module it i mean it looks you can see it's only one millimeter thick and the camera module on the note on or on the s22 ultra i mean the cameras they stick out a bit more than they do on this phone here so you can see this one here does wiggle a little bit on the table so this is something which you need to keep in mind but you don't mind don't need to mind that if you are using a case um yeah so now let's turn on the phone okay here we go so you need to press a little longer to boot up the device earlier on samsung phones you just needed to press like three or four seconds to boot up the device but it takes a bit longer on the newer ones all right, here we go. So you can see the startup menu of the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. It started in Korean and it basically shows us all languages over here. So I guess this year means start. And you can also already feel the 120 Hertz refresh rate. So it's already turned on by default. The Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus hasn't got a 
120 hertz refresh rate so this is probably the biggest thing you will notice when you are switching to the new samsung phones so the phone needs to restart here to in order to complete the setup so let's take a look at the rest we've got in the box here so you can see the box i mean there's almost nothing else so we've got this small box in here in which we've got the paperwork and the USB C to USB cable. We've also got the SIM ejection tool, and that's basically it, which is pretty unfortunate. I mean, people are shouting at Samsung because there is no charger anymore. But the biggest issue I have got together with this box here is that I mean, if you are comparing the box of the Galaxy Note 10 Plus together with this one here, I mean, this box or the box of this phone here was feature packed as hell i mean we've used to have a 25 watt super fast charger in there we've used to have a usb-c to usb-c cable we've also used to have a um, otg device so you were able i mean they've gave you they gave you a device which turned your usb-c port into a USB-A port so there was basically an adapter in the box and they've also used to have an adapter which converted your um, USB-C port into a micro USB port so you were you were used to I mean you were able to charge your phone with the older uh, micro USB cables and I mean there were a lot of features in there which here unfortunately I mean they haven't got anything of these in this box here and there was um i mean together with the note phone samsung also used to have these um s pen tips i mean the tips of the s pen they were like five or six replacement tips together with the tip ejection tool i mean this is not there anymore which is really unfortunate i mean the box of the note 10 plus was really really feature packed and there were a lot of devices in there i mean there were even headphones i mean that's a big big change so this is something which is really unfortunate so you're paying much more than you used to pay earlier and you're getting way less than you got earlier one other thing which um you should notice is that the s22 ultra does not come together with a screen protector so as you can see I mean, there's a screen protector installed right now, but here we, you can see that it sticks a little bit out, so it's not meant to be there um, for permanent use. So you need to peel this off and you're basically good to go together with a screen protector. Um, the Note 10 Plus or older Samsung phones, they used to come together with a pre-installed sc screen protector and it's basically not there anymore. So in terms of features, in terms of extra things you used to get, I mean, you basically get the phone. I mean, this is the only thing you pay for. You also get the USB-C cable, but that's probably worth just $5 or something like that. I mean, you only pay for the phone and you don't get anything else. So this is something which is really unfortunate. I can't uh, stop to say that, but yeah. So now we are going to set up the fingerprint reader. So this is also something which is a bit different. Um, if you if you are coming from the Note 10 Plus or probably even the Note 20 Ultra. Um, so the fingerprint scanner of the S22 Ultra is bigger now. So it has got a bigger area where you can rest your thumb or which finger you want to use. Um, and it should work a bit better i don't know why but the fingerprint reader of the samsung galaxy note 10 plus used to be really bad in my opinion so my mother is using a samsung galaxy s10 and even though they are using the same fingerprint reader i mean the s10 and the note 10 they are using the same fingerprint reader i am pretty sure that the performance on the samsung galaxy s10 is way better than it, it's than it is on this phone here so i don't know why but this is something which i'm really happy about um so I hope that this phone here will do way better than the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus in terms of the fingerprint reader. So now let's set up a pattern here. And here we go. So you can add other fingers as well without leaving the setup screen here, which is really great. All right, so I am finished together with the setup of the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra now. So. I have the feeling that the phone is lagging a little bit, so that's a bit frustrating, but I hope that it's just because of the phone, which is uh, right now 
downloading a lot of stuff and all that so it's getting ready for uh, daily usage i hope it's um i hope that's lagging because of all these things going on in the background right right now um but for now the performance of my note 10 plus seems to be better than the performance of this phone so i hope this will get better in quite a few minutes um but yeah so now let's talk about the differences between these phones i noticed um while i was using this phone for like 10 minutes or something like that so the first thing which you will notice is that there are um a lot of things which which change their places so first of all the note 10 plus used to have its volume rocker and the power button on the left side which was really convenient for me so it i mean in my opinion it's the it's basically the best position the power button can be so every time when you hold your phone your thumb is not resting on the frame of the phone but instead your middle finger is always resting on this position where the power button actually is so you can power off this phone and power on the phone really really easily together with your middle finger which is really convenient um so they have changed the place of the volume rockers so these uh, are on the right side and the power button is on the right hand side as well so i guess they changed it to the right side because this is the more standard position but i actually think that it's it was it used to be a really great decision to put these uh, buttons to the left side but no they are basically on the right so you need to get used to it another different thing is that the s pen is now on the left side of the phone and that's basically just because of the camera module because i mean you can see the camera module of this phone here is way bigger than the camera module of this one here is ba basically double the size of this one here and there's basically no place for the s pen anymore so they haven't got much space in here so they used they they were forced to um place the s pen to the left hand side of the phone so that's also pretty inconvenient if you ask me because we are living in a world where the most people are right-handed and it's basically much easier to pull off the pen from the right-hand side of the phone instead of pulling it out from the left-hand side where a palm is actually blocking the... I mean, it is not that convenient, but it's not a big deal, actually. Um, yeah, and then the next big difference is the size. We have already talked about that. This one is a bit thicker, it's uh, wider, and it's also longer. It's much heavier so this is something which you need to keep in mind um i mean the size of the display is not that um is pretty similar so i'm not pretty sure how big the difference actually actually is it's probably just uh like 0 0.5 inches i mean the difference is not that big and i i'm honest i'm preferring this phone here in terms of size and weight I mean, it's thinner, it's lighter, and, you know, it basically, it feels better in the hand than this one here. I mean, this one is really heavy. This is something which you need to keep in mind. Samsung made their phones way thicker um, just for having, or just for the battery life. I mean, the battery life of this phone is still great. I mean, I'm not pretty sure, but I guess this phone here has got a 4,500 milliampere battery, and this one here has got a 5,000 milliampere battery. I mean, it's not a big difference and this one here is still way heavier i mean yeah but overall i have to say that it is not a bad decision to come together uh, to come from a note 10 plus and switching to the s22 ultra since these phones are pretty similar i mean i we have already talked about the differences of this phone i mean the, the weight of the phone the, i mean the phone is bigger it's thicker and all that the Buttons have moved to the right side, the S Pen moved to the left side, so they changed quite a few st few things. But the design language in general, or the way how the phone looks and works, is pretty much the same. I mean, you've got the same UI on both phones. This one here runs with One UI 4.0, this one here has got One, one UI 4.1. Um, but something which you need to consider is that this phone here won't get updated anymore. I mean, it is running one ui4 and it will probably get updated to one ui4.1 but that's it you won't get any further android upgrades together with this phone this phone however will get android updates until android 16 so these are this is four years of os support which is really great so i mean even if you 
don't want to use a big phone or a heavy phone and all that this is still the better go i mean the difference is not that big i mean these phones are still both really heavy this one here is just a bit heavier than this one um but the way how they work i mean this one here should have the better performance since this one here is almost th three years old i mean this is something which you need to keep in mind you cannot stick together with this phone for 10 years i mean I mean, you definitely need to change your phone after a while. And this one here is the good go because there are so many similarities between these phones. So, yeah, so that's it, guys. Um, I will probably make another video talking about the battery life and all the other things, uh, talking from the perspective of a guy who, who used a Note 10 Plus. Um, I'm going to talk about the battery life, about the general performance, probably also about the camera and all that. And uh, yeah, so stay tuned for my next video. Peace out. All right, guys, before I end this video, I want to talk about the camera as well. So you can already see that we've got um, 0.6, 1x, 3x and 10x, while on the Note 10 Plus, we've only got 0.5, 1x and 2x. So this one here has got um a big advantage when it comes to zoom so to the zoom feature but something which you also need to keep in mind is that the note 10 plus is able uh, to capture a bigger area together with the ultra wide camera so here we've got 0.6 and you can't go lower than that so it's not possible to go to 0 0.5 in uh, together with the note 10 plus you can go down up to uh, 0.5 so you're able to record um a bigger area together with the Note 10 Plus. Of course, the camera quality of the Note uh, 10 is lower uh, with the ultra wide camera than with this phone here, but um, yeah, it is only able to uh, capture 0.6 here. All right, so let me open up the windows. So here we go. So this is my road over here. Um, we are going to test out the zooming feature. You can see this uh, bike over there. I will be zooming in uh, on this object here. So let's try point one or one X. So this here is the road and now let's zoom in. So this is three X and this here is 10 X and we can zoom in even further in a digital way. Here you can see the uh, bike in big detail you can almost read the text which is down there on the bike but it's really hard to focus on there so it's pretty usable so you can see almost everything of the bike and you can even see the trash here on the bottom here you can see the colors and all that if we go back to 1x you can see that this trash down there is only visible as a dot uh, if you are using 1x so the zooming performance is incredible so together with the note 10 plus you cannot even do this here the note 10 plus is only able to zoom in uh, to 2x but um, the performance on 2x is better on the note 10 plus actually since the s22 ultra has only got a 3x and a 10x um, optical zoom we can also try to focus on the tire of this car over here. We can see the profiles, the profile of this uh, tire here. And again, if we go back to 1x, you can see that you cannot see anything else. Uh, you cannot see the profile of the of the tire. So here you can see here again the profiles of the um, of the tires and. You can even see the screws, well, not the screws, but the holes for the screws. So pretty amazing thing over here.